Pleased to be joined on Halton News by Milton Town Councilor for Ward 3, Adil Kalki. How are you? Excellent. Thank you very much for having me. Well, thanks for coming on. I got to say, I don't think I've ever had someone so excited about a budget to contact me and want to yeah. speak about it. Is this one near and dear to your heart? Absolutely, because it's my first budget as a new town councillor and uh, there's some good progress that's been made um, three meetings in so far. So it's good. Uh, well, a couple motions you put forth are going to be part of the 2023 Milton budget. And let's start with the first one. That's $72,000 for automated speed enforcement. Now, this is something that I have heard a whole bunch of. I know there are a lot of complaints about people going too fast in residential neighborhoods, but this $72,000, what exactly is it being used for? So the $72,000 essentially at this point is going to allow town staff to be able to continue the discussion that they've been having with the Ministry of Transportation, to be able to put agreements into place as we move closer to implementation of this uh, technology-based enforcement. Uh, you know, road safety was a huge uh, concern that residents in Ward 3 had during the campaign when I was knocking on doors. And this is ultimately something I promised that I would work on to deliver uh, in the campaign. And it's something that I'm very proud to have accomplished in relation to securing funding that was originally absent from the budget but then through my drafting of a motion, I put that funding back in and worked with council colleagues to get their support behind it as well. So from this motion and it being accepted, how far are we away from actually seeing cameras and the speed enforcement? Yes, so there is still gonna be some time before the first one or first few are installed at least. Um, we're looking at early 2024, perhaps. It all depends on uh, how the agreements and how the discussion goes between our departments that are in charge of taking this uh, project into uh, implementation stages. That the discussion that they have with the MTO and agreements that they're able to put in place, um, that could take some time, but we're hopeful that uh, by 2024, in the early months, we'll be able to see some implementation in uh, hopefully residential areas, school zones, those areas of vulnerability is what we're looking at. Exactly. Yeah, those are the ones that always come up when speaking to residents. Okay, second thing that happened with this budget, just over 68000 for two additional six-meter buses that will service Dairy Green and Boyne areas. Uh, why was this an area of concern that you pushed this forward for? Well, the reality is, I think, to nobody's surprise, Ward 3 and Ward 4, these two areas are growth areas as identified by staff. Uh, a lot of the growth that's coming into Milton is happening in our ward. Uh, if you drive down uh, the areas just south of Luce St. Laurent, you're going to see many, uh, many more uh, housing units being built. Condos are coming as well in this ward. And to keep up with that growth, we want to be a town that prides itself on offering uh, different modes of transportation to our residents. Now, having two additional six meter buses that are non-fixed in their routing will allow for town staff to be able to obviously anticipate to that growth that's coming to allow those residents that need transit to be able to go onto a bus but at the same time allow for the town to gather statistics on where we can in the future implement a conventional route because if we have stats and data on where people are taking this non-fixed route busing from and to where they're going we can use that to analyze and uh, maybe making a permanent route in the future. So these are two good things that are going to help the word out. All right. Well, listen, you know what? Clearly, you're making a difference, delivering on some uh, promises that you had in your campaign. Congratulations on these and look forward to following you along for at least the next four years. Absolutely. It's going to be a pleasure to come back, hopefully, with some more news to share.